given the circumstance we find ourselves in this week. So, uh, um, you know, it has. It, it is. I made them well aware of that, as I've, as I've said earlier on in the week, that it, you know, it is a, uh, a, a lovely environment. But uh, you know, we've all got to remember why you know, why we're here. So, uh, you know, I, I think they've taken that on board. Yeah, you and Wayne, what's been the message? Um, it's doing words. I mean, we. Again, the important thing for us is it is a short turnaround, so recovery was was uh, you know was, a, was an important part of it, and you know the lads have been you know doing really well in that department. We had a short run on on Wednesday um, uh, to identify areas which we think need improvement, and uh, with a final run tonight. So uh, you know, in terms of the stern words, it was it was more you know a matter of making sure that you know the lads keep their. Uh, keep their minds on, on, on what we're here for and, and um, you know so far I, I can't problem. It's a crunch game for, for everyone you know the, the circumstance that we find ourselves in and uh, you know when you you know when you play the current world champions first and you find the, yourself in this predicament in the second week then um, you know it's crunch time for everyone. A lot of uh... um, I've got to say I expected a bit more out of everyone and um, you know I, I uh, you know that's you know, as I said, you know, the, the, the players themselves expected more out of themselves, and that's why you know we certainly were disappointed. But again, you know, that was you know that was five days ago. we you know we're thinking about what we need to do to uh, you know make sure we get the performance right against New Guinea. We well, be a little... don't want to dwell on that game, but there seemed to be so much fire and brimstone and, and intimidation and all that's missing from the Kiwi forwards. Are you, what makes you think you know that's not going to happen again tomorrow night? Yeah, well, again, you know, when you talk about fire and brimstone, it's it's hard, you know, when you you only getting sixty, you know, thirty five percent of the position in the first twenty minutes. And um, um, again, you know, we're very clear about you know what we want to do, and, and um, you know, we, we need to make sure that we've you know we certainly uh, um, are, are on our game because you know watching the New Guinea side and see how they uh, they came out against England, you know, we know what we're in for. Well, you've been playing or you've been on the international scene as a coach or player for fifteen years now. New Zealand has been beaten by PNG before, they've beaten the Lions, but how do you stack this side up against teams that you might have come across in years gone by? Oh, they're a wonderful side. You know, I think um, you know, Adrian Lamb's doing, doing a great job with them and there's a number of players in that team that have played in the NRL. And um, you know, Stanley Jean, who's, you know, who's, who's certainly their uh, the go-to man, has, has been around for a long, long time and you know, they, you know, they're a real threat and uh, you know, we won't be treating them you know, any, any differently. Well, I think the start in any match is, is really important, and you know, as was shown last week, it's um, you know it's it's real important. You know, not only you know with the England uh, New Guinea game, but also with, with our game that you know that it just highlighted how important the starts are. And you know, against a side like Papua New Guinea, who you know who are a bit unorthodox and awkward at, at times, it's it's a real you know it's a real focus for us to make sure we get off to a good start. Steve uh, Steve Ganson troubled the Tongans with his interpretations. Are you worried about his interpretations of the way that he? Looks at the rules. Again, I'm, you know, you know, if I've, uh, if I'm going to worry about the ref, then you know, I'm more worried about, you know, our performance and making sure that the, you know, the lads are making, sure, you know, they're 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 prepared and ready to, ready to turn up with the right uh, right attitude because, um, you know, regardless of, of what the what the ref ref's decisions are or, or, you know, the the environment that we're playing and you know, I, I don't want us to be using any excuses after the match tomorrow night. We uh, um, you know he's refereeing this, so, you know the the opposition too. So um, you know we don't want to make that an issue. There's a identified areas that you know we think are going to be effective for us. So, you know I, I thought one thing that you know that England you know uh, uh, did was you know they they um, I thought they spooked you know, spooked England a bit into you know playing a bit sideways and, and um, um, you know so. I've made the lads well aware of that. It's, you know, they're a real physical, uh, confrontational side, and, and you know we have to make sure that we're up for that, uh, you know, up for that type of uh, type of game. About the crowd, what role do you see Isaac Luke playing for you guys? If you don't want to tell us where exactly he's playing, but so you won't give up on him, will you? <laughs> well, you know, I've got no doubt about um, you know Isaac's ability, and you know we thought the um, you know the makeup of the side for this week and for who we're playing against this week was. Uh, you know, Isaac, uh, you know, fitted into that into that uh, position well, and and um, you know, yeah, oh, he'll be used when when we think it's most appropriate.